Hi, my name is Yumiko and welcome to another video of Medico Paper. Medico Paper provides medical questions with their answers. Today's topic is regarding normal values, properties, origin, functions, and variations of plasma proteins. Today's question is, write a short note on plasma proteins. The answer should be written in the following headings. Number 1. Name of the plasma proteins. Number 2. Normal values. Number 3. Properties. Number 4. Origin of plasma proteins. Number 5. Functions. And number 6. Variations in plasma protein level. Let's start with introduction part. The plasma proteins are serum albumin, serum globulin, and fibrinogen. Serum contains only albumin and globulin. Fibrinogen is absent in serum because it is converted into fibrin during blood clotting. Let's see the normal values of plasma proteins. The total amount of proteins present in the plasma is 7.3 gram per deciliter. Out of total proteins, serum albumin is 4.7 gram per deciliter. Serum globulin is 2.3 gram per deciliter and fibrinogen is 0.3 gram per deciliter. Lastly, the albumin to globulin ratio is 2 is to 1. Now comes to the properties of plasma proteins. The molecular weight of albumin is 69,000 Dalton. The molecular weight of globulin is 1,56,000 Dalton and the molecular weight of fibrinogen is 4 lakh Dalton. The specific gravity of the plasma proteins is 1.026. The plasma proteins have 1 sixth of total buffering action of the blood. Now comes to the origin of plasma proteins. In the embryonic stage, the plasma proteins are synthesized by the mesenchyme cells. The albumin is synthesized first, and other proteins are synthesized later. In adults, the plasma proteins are synthesized mainly from reticuloendothelial cells of the liver. Also synthesized from spleen, bone marrow, disintegrating blood cells, and general tissue cells. Gamma globulin is synthesized from B lymphocytes. Let's see, what are the functions of plasma proteins? Plasma proteins has role in coagulation of blood, as especially, fibrinogen is essential for the coagulation of blood. If we see, the role in defense mechanism of body, the gamma globulins play an important role in the defense mechanism of the body, by acting as antibodies. Antibodies react with antigens of various microorganisms, which cause diseases. If we see, the role in transport mechanism, albumin, alpha globulin, and beta globulin is responsible for the transport of the hormones, and enzymes. The alpha and beta globulins play an important role in the transport of metals in the blood. Next, regarding maintenance of osmotic pressure in blood, the osmotic pressure exerted by the plasma proteins is about 25 millimeters of mercury. Plasma proteins, particularly albumin, play an important role in regulating the acid-base balance in the blood. Plasma proteins are responsible for 15% of the buffering capacity of the blood. Plasma proteins provide viscosity to the blood, which is important to maintain the blood pressure. Globulin and fibrinogen accelerate the tendency of rule of formation by the red blood cells. Rule of formation is responsible for erythrocyte sedimentation rate. Let's see how plasma proteins help in suspension stability of red blood cells. During circulation, the red blood cells remain suspended uniformly in the blood. This property of the red blood cells is called the suspension stability. Globulin and fibrinogen help in the suspension stability of the red blood cells. 
Plasma proteins help in production of trifon substances. These substances are produced by leukocytes. From the plasma proteins, trifon substances are necessary for the nourishment of tissue cells in culture. Plasma proteins act as reserve proteins. During fasting, inadequate food intake, or inadequate protein intake, the plasma proteins are utilized by the body tissues as the last source of energy. Now come to different conditions, where plasma protein level variates. These are the conditions where hyperproteinemia is seen, dehydration, hemolysis, acute infections, like acute hepatitis, and acute nephritis, respiratory distress syndrome, excess of glucocorticoids, leukemia, rheumatoid arthritis, and alcoholism. And these are the conditions, where hypoproteinemia is seen, diarrhea, hemorrhage, burns, pregnancy, malnutrition, prolonged starvation, cirrhosis of the liver, and chronic infections, like chronic hepatitis or chronic nephritis. If we see separately, the following conditions, where albumin level increases, dehydration, excess of glucocorticoids, and congestive cardiac failure. The level of albumin decreases in the following conditions, malnutrition, cirrhosis of the liver, burns, hypothyroidism, nephrosis, and excessive intake of water. The level of globulin increases in the following conditions, cirrhosis of the liver, chronic infections, nephrosis, and rheumatoid arthritis. The level of globulin decreases in the following conditions, emphysema, acute hemolytic anemia, glomerulonephritis, and hypogammaglobulinemia. These are the conditions, where fibrinogen increases, acute infections, rheumatoid arthritis, glomerulonephritis, myocardial infarction, stroke, and trauma. And, these are the conditions, where fibrinogen decreases, liver dysfunction, use of anabolic steroids, and use of phenobarbital. Lastly, let's see the variations in albumin to globulin ratio. AG ratio increases in the following conditions, hypothyroidism, excess of glucocorticoids, hypogammaglobulinemia, and intake of high carbohydrate or protein diet. And these are the conditions, where AG ratio decreases, liver dysfunction, and nephrosis. Thank you. For watching this video, please subscribe to the channel to get notifications on the new videos we upload. Hit the like button if you liked the video, and share this video with your friends. If any questions or suggestions, please comment below. Thank you.